Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you to our very first edition of our program on the Holy Family Channels. This channel will attempt to provide solutions to some of the contemporary issues facing marriages all over the world. Our today's topic is one grievous sin women commit daily. Every day we go about our normal business disrespecting our husbands without knowing that it is a grievous sin. It is likened to the sin of Adam and Eve in the Bible. If you don't respect your husband, you are disobeying God. Clearly. Period. Nobody should deceive you. If you don't respect your husband, you are disobeying God. And you are, you are as worse as Eve in the Bible. Nobody should tell you otherwise. Because God says it clearly in the book of Corinthians. When he says that the husband is supreme over his wife. Jesus is supreme over the husband. And God is supreme to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ does the will of his father. The men are supposed to do the will of Jesus Christ and you are supposed to do the will of your husband. So the question is, are you doing the will of your husband or your own personal will? That is one big question that we need to answer in the world today. The world today is so self-centered and selfish that everybody is running Hector scatter for himself. And it's becoming like a norms. The children are born into this, this culture that women don't respect their husband. Respect your own husband as obedience to God. So if you disrespect your husband, you have disobeyed God's word. Are you ready to disobey God's word because you don't want to respect your husband? Or you want to obey God's word by respecting your husband? That is one big thing we women will, may need to ponder upon. We commit this sin daily. It's so normal because of the type of films we watch today. We watch Hollywood, we watch Bollywood, we watch Nollywood, and we think it doesn't have implication on how we behave. So many research has proven media effect on their audience. You are what you listen to. Do not be deceived. The Bible said it clearly that can a man put fire on his blossom and not get burnt? Another version of the Bible will say, Can a man put fire in his body and not get burnt? No way. You can't listen to all those things every day and expect it not to take root in you. The Bible clearly said, stated that faith cometh from hearing the word of God. So if you keep listening to the word of God, you watch Christian channels, you will grow in faith. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, women, we must go back to our roots. Respect to your husband. It's not a choice. It is obedience to God. It is a commandment. It is a big sin if you don't do that. It is not whether you feel like it or not. It is a commandment that you must keep. Just like the Bible said, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt respect your husband. It is a commandment that you must keep. It's not saying that you should respect your husband when your husband smiles, smiles back at you. It's not saying that you must respect your husband when he buys you gifts. It's not saying that you must respect your husband when he is the most loving husband on earth. The Bible talks about unconditional respect. You respect him whether, whether he deserves it or not. Whether he's not worthy of it. Somebody will say, for those of you watching me, somebody will say, it's because she doesn't know my husband. He doesn't deserve my respect. You just have to love him because you want to obey God. You just have to respect him because you want to obey God. Yes, he's not deserving. He's not deserving of your respect. But you are respecting him in obedience to God's word. Because you don't want to be a rebel. Because you don't want to disobey God's word. That is why you are respecting him. 
The Bible talks about unconditional respect. That type of respect that Sarah had for Abraham, even when they said she would have a baby, it, she, she, the Bible made us to understand that she giggled and she said, she still called the husband my Lord. I believe women of these days, if you had put Nigerian women in that position, she would have said, what in this mumu they talk? Because nobody, nobody has the power, the magic to seize what is going on in your heart. But even in her heart, where she can possibly have insulted her husband, she calls him my Lord. That is pure and sincere love and respect. And that is what we are called to do. Respect your husband genuinely, purely. Not strategically to get something. No, honey because you want to, him to buy you a car. Pure and undiluted respect in obedience to God.